Kevin, when did you know you wanted to be an actor? I ended up for the last two years of high school in a private school, boarding school. Real old school British boarding school. It, it was the type of uh, system my parents had gone through and they thought that that would be the best thing for me as well. So I, the ch school that I chose of the choices of schools, I chose this particular school because they had a, a, a music program. They also did a fair amount of touring throughout the year as part of their own insular trip, head to Europe and, and play a few dates and come back. So I thought, you know, if I'm going to have to do a boarding school, private school experience, this would be it. I got material from the music director. He sent it to me in the mail and sent a cassette of some of the things that they had been working on in the studio. Went and learned it all. Showed up at school very eager to like be a part of this whole program and was playing basically the solos that he had recorded on these tracks. He was not pleased. And I ended up being a better horn player than him at 15. Was not pleased. So he had set up a tour to Europe but had excluded me from it. Right. But even though I was his premier player, he would use me for recruitment drives to get other kids to come to the school. So by the end of it, I'd said to him, you know, I'm not going to take band anymore as a class. You can use me for recruitment drives. You'll give me an A and I won't come to rehearsal. I will use those afternoons for myself. And you started acting instead of doing the music class? And to class? kind of tick him off, I joined the school play. Oh, I see. And it was, uh, it was the king and I, and I booked the lead. And so I had to then figure out how I was going to do it. And uh, borrowed the vocabulary that I knew from music and transferred that into into acting. I was just like, score, so, script, same thing. Right. With so you, crescendos, decrescendos, recurring themes, you know, from a musical standpoint, a lot of the same tools. Would it be true to say you fell into acting purely to tick this guy off? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> and it paid off? Do you, are, you, are you glad it all played out that way? Or? Um, I, it, I think it was something that I would not have found as it wouldn't have been as fulfilling. I mean, I, I was in, the year prior when I was in public school, I was taking a drama class, but for credit. And we would do once in a while, different members of the class would, you know, do scenes here and there. But it wasn't by any means a serious thing. It was a fun class. And I got kicked out more often in the class than I did <laughs> staying in the class. But then you decided um, that for your college, your university program, that acting and theater is what you wanted to do? Or well, it, where it, did you apply to school and how did you decide your major? It, it came around, my best friend had gotten into USC. He was okay. a Dean Scholar. So he was going to go and study USC. He wanted to go and get settled, but he didn't really want to go with his parents. He wanted me to go with him. Right, more so, fun than parents. Much more, so we drove down together from Vancouver down to LA, and it was, it was a great trip, we had a lot of fun. And you were how old at that time? 17 18, or 18? 18. Okay. So we went down to USC, and while I was there, I went and, and said, let me take the opportunity while I'm here to look around. So I went and checked out the music school. Right. Checked out the law school, checked out the theater school. Fast forward a year, you know, I'm, I'm political science, I'm African history, I'm in the middle of an political theory class and I dropped my pen in class. And I just remember looking at this amphitheater mm -hmm. of students and just not feeling anything in common with them and really feeling like I'm not in the right place. I don't want to be working with these people and spending all of my time. It's not in the right place. Did you know right then where was the right place or no. how long did it take you to figure that out? Well, you know, a few months later I'm still studying political science but I'm also reading plays on the side and trying to audition for shows on the side in my own spare time, which I really shouldn't have had much of. So it became clear to me that this was something I wanted to pursue. And then I sent a videotape to USC because I missed the live auditions. I see. And that year they had auditioned 8,000 people for a space of, for 28 kids. Right. And I got in by videotape. So I figured this is 
regardless of how it plays out, this is an opportunity that I can't have pass me by, and something will come of this opportunity.